WTFNN. Headline news update. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida, 2 p.m. Eastern time on Monday, two hours left to go in the trading day. And we got markets oscillating around even to flat territory right now. Dow Jones in the positive, getting a boost from Boeing as the news comes out that the 737 MAX deliveries are to quote unquote resume next month. We'll see how that plays out. But Boeing getting a lift, putting a lift into the Dow, now up 26 points the Dow, trading 27,707. S&P is still negative by five, trading at 3,087. NASDAQ negative by just nine points at 84.65. We'll start things off. We'll start it off with a chart of Boeing first, then we'll jump over to the headline. There's your chart, quite an acceleration. Boeing, early in the day, trading at about 347, spikes up to 368.81, pairing a bit of those gains, still up about 4.25%. And to feed the headline into things, and there is the headline of the day as Boeing shares jump, erasing the Dow point. And you have Boeing, we'll get into it. Well, nonetheless, Boeing shares putting a boost. And talk about another boost before we go over the charts. Alibaba, the final number coming in for their singles day, $38 billion in a 24-hour period. In China, pretty remarkable, that giant Alibaba setting a sales record. Amazon having something to shoot for, that's for sure. Jumping back to the charts, we'll jump through these indices, and you'll see the acceleration in the Dow especially. There's your Dow 30. The chart trades from about 27,518, now trading at almost session highs, 27,660. NASDAQ 100 trading at 8,248. S&P 500, 3,086 right now, made a low right at around the opening bell of 3,074. Crude oil, quite an acceleration to the upside, right around 9.30, 56.34. You trade up almost a full dollar to 57.31, just under that level, 57.18. Gold contract struggling again today, actually dipped below 15.50 to 14.49.07. Gold trading at 14.57. And the euro US dollar trading 11036. The other thing, just add to that, to, to add to that Boeing story, the headline earlier in the day before that news broke was that the airlines were extending their cancellations until March. And Boeing comes out and says they're dropping deliveries of the plane in December. So I imagine that story is still gonna play out a bit. Stay tuned, folks. Dave White coming up live right now with the Power Trading Hour. Tom O'Brien coming up live at 3 o'clock. We'll be right back.